This is your weekly review. Hey folks, strap yourselves in. We have a huge update for you today, including some G.I. Joe classified spoilers, plans for upcoming figures, vehicles, and theme lines. We'll even tell you about a brand new vehicle plan for later this year. And we'll tell you everything we know about the classified road pig. First up, we have a brand new figure and vehicle set. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this. As you might recall, back at the start of March, we told you that we felt very confident that the Tiger Paw would be paired with the G.I. Joe character Wreckage. For those unfamiliar with Wreckage, he initially went by a different name. Sabretooth was originally planned for the 1988 Tiger Force lineup but then later cancelled. In 2003, the figure was released as part of a Tiger Force set with the name Wreckage. Now we have confirmation that indeed Wreckage has been paired with the classified version of the Tiger Paw. And this, of course, is a redeco of the Cobra Ferret. Now, first up, let's answer most people's question. Who is Wreckage? Wreckage is a G.I. Joe character known for being a demolitions expert and covert ops specialist, and he hails from New Zealand. Wreckage is highly skilled in urban warfare and has a reputation for being tough, fearless, and resourceful. He's mostly used in high-risk missions, so he's a great fit for Tiger Force. Figure-wise, Wreckage is a redeco of the Firefly figure. He also includes most of Firefly's accessories, including Firefly's submachine gun, a knife sheath on his right forearm, Firefly's backpack and mines, a pistol, a detonator, and a helmet. There's no drone device or RC car. What you see is what you get. Now there's already been some confusion about the look of Wreckage, so let's clear that up as well. Wreckage has a subtle orangey-brown tiger stripe pattern on his black outfit, with brown secondary gear and orange highlights, and an orange undershirt underneath. He's wearing a tan-colored balaclava to cover his head. And on top of that, there's a dark camo design covering his mouth and nose. This design has been painted on with tampos to give Wreckage an intimidating skull-like look, similar to what's been seen on some characters in the Call of Duty video game series. His helmet is yellow and black, it's reuse of Clutch's helmet. So this is the same as the Night Force Shockwave. This does fit over the top of Wreckage's head, you don't have to remove the head in order to put the helmet on. The visor is green with a red tracking device built into it. And if we take a closer look, there are seven tally marks scratched into the top of his helmet for how many Cobras he's taken out. In the distance of one image, Wreckage is used as detonator to cause a big explosion. The Tiger Paw has red accessories, the standard Tiger Force gradient paint apps, the cannon is black with a red base, and the hubcaps are Tiger Force yellow. Since Wreckage includes a Steel Core style helmet, he can also double as an anonymous troop builder when wearing it. So this is a good pairing for the Tiger Paw for collectors who buy multiples of this. This briefing should provide you with everything you need to know about the G.I. Joe classified Wreckage and Tiger Paw. We don't waste your time with half-assed one-minute videos which don't provide anything useful or informative to the viewer. We want to make sure that everyone's up to speed with all of the details and information available to us, as well as a full explanation of who Wreckage is. No word yet if Wreckage will have the same tooling defect that made Firefly a floppy mess of disappointment in plastic. For those who don't recall, the issue of a floppy waist, legs, and ab crunch on most Firefly figures was one of the worst fails of 2023 for G.I. Joe Classified. When it happens once, that could just be an accident. But when it happens twice, that's just careless. So on that note, it would be a horrendous fail at this point if Hasbro just puts a new coat of paint on a figure which Hasbro already knows has defective tooling. Will this be the same as the defective Firefly figure? We'll have to wait and find out. Time will tell how tone-deaf and careless Hasbro wants to be here towards collectors. The current street date for this is October 1st, 2024. In the US, it's available through Target and Hasbro Pulse. In Canada, it's available through GameStop. However, Hasbro decided to have an unannounced pre-order drop early this morning, so by the time most collectors even found out about it, it was already sold out. Another great fans first decision made by the brilliant minds at Hasbro. Some Hasbro apologists won't like this, but time after time, this company goes out of their way to make it clear through their actions, not their meaningless words, exactly how little they care about their audience. And this is further proof that premium memberships often result in premium disappointment. I would ask Hasbro what on earth they were thinking with the way they completely mishandled this pre-order situation, but in their own famous words that will live forever. You can ask, but we're not going to bother answering. <laughs> Stay tuned to the Viper Island Instagram page and our YouTube community page for fast updates and early sneak peeks when there's no need for a video. We post on those two sites so you can read what you need and move on with your day. The big question about Wreckage and the Tiger Paw is how interested are you? Are you in or out when this goes up for pre-order? Let us know your thoughts 
thoughts in the comments below. And before we move on, we invite you to quickly do us a favor and smash that like button to show your support for the show and the work that we put into it. Next, we believe that a new Walmart exclusive vehicle is on the way later this year. On the Joe side, there are two lead candidates. The first is the Covert Ops ATV, which is a dark colored redeco of the Cobra Ferret. As for a driver, it's unclear which character will be paired with it. I do wonder if this is an opportunity to introduce a character who can also double as a troop builder. If so, several options include Psych Out, Sneak Peek, Spearhead, and maybe even Hit and Run. Another option for the vehicle is the Night Force Night Raider. This is a redeco of the Triple T tank. We fully anticipate that the Knight Raider will join Classified alongside the Triple T tank sometime in the 2024-25 cycle. Could we possibly see a Night Force version of Sergeant Slaughter? We'll have to wait and see. And knowing Hasbro, it's possible that a Knight Raider could even be released prior to the Triple T itself. Let us know your thoughts in the comments here. Would you be interested in either the Knight Raider or the Covert Ops ATV? Sound off in the comments. Next, let's discuss what's coming next in the line. Here are the G.I. Joe figures currently in the pipeline. Alpine, Iron Grenadier, the Iron Grenadier Bat, Raptor, and this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Starduster, we expect this might be the PulseCon exclusive. Nemesis Immortal, Road Pig, Retro Cobra Commander, Xandar, Leatherneck, Dial Tone, Saw Viper, Frag Viper, Blowtorch, and a special G.I. Joe the movie version of Cobra Commander, this is the Once a Man version. Then coming soon, the Mad Marauders Sergeant Slaughter and the Mad Marauders Low Light and Spirit 2 pack. Then we're also waiting for a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover item for the O ring line, and this includes the Triple T tank and the Transformer Cub with a 3 and 3 quarter inch Sergeant Slaughter. Next, let's talk about spoilers for the 2024 25 cycle. In our spoiler episode late last summer, we gave you a heads up about several new figures that we had reason to believe were on the way soon. A lot of those have since been confirmed by Hasbro. We also brought you our list of full predictions this past November. Here's the breakdown of what we told you was on the way, what was confirmed, and what we're still waiting for. I think you'll be surprised how accurate a lot of our lists have been so far, as well as how many have been confirmed by Hasbro shortly after we gave you a heads up. And this should also get collectors excited about what might be around the corner in 2024 and 2025. First, here are the releases which have already been proven correct. Dating back to last summer, we told you that the next subline theme would be the Iron Grenadiers. This turned out to be true, and we also told you that Metalhead was on the way soon. That was then announced by Hasbro during PulseCon just weeks after we told you it was on the way. Same thing for the Iron Grenadier and the Iron Grenadier Bat. When we first told you about this last August, there were no rumblings in the community about an Iron Grenadier's theme at all. We broke the news about the Iron Grenadier's figures for a reason, and while the new Iron Grenadier bat has not yet been announced, it will be part of the next new wave of Classified alongside the Iron Grenadier. This will be a brand new figure. The Iron Grenadier bat has never existed before in the G.I. Joe lore. Then we also told you that Xandar would be on the way soon, and sure enough, this was announced shortly after we said that we were very confident, wink wink, that Xandar had already been designed and sculpted. And folks, this one is absolutely true. The results speak for themselves. Then we told you Leatherneck was on the way, and he's already been announced for the pipeline. Same thing with Road Pig. And we have some insight on Road Pig. Keep watching. We'll get to that later in this episode. We told you Rakonda was on the way, as well as Alpine, Retro Cobra Commander. And then jumping into the theme lines, we told you to keep an eye out for Tiger Force Roadblock with his 50 cal heavy machine gun and Tiger Force Tripwire. Both of those are now in the line, as well as Night Force Shockwave. The one thing we didn't know about Shockwave was that he would come with a vehicle, the Night Pursuit Ram Cycle. Then we also told you that Mad Marauders would be back in a big way in 2024 and 25, starting with Sergeant Slaughter, Spirit, and Lowlight. All three of these are also part of the line. There are only two others that we suggested would be on the way soon. We'll get to that in a minute. In terms of what has not yet been confirmed, here are the remaining figures from our list that we told you would be on the way sometime in 2024 and 25. Battle Armor Cobra Commander. We expect that if this is on the way, it will be part of a deluxe set. Then Heavy Duty as well as Monkey Wrench, the Desert Scorpion, Night Viper, the Cobra Law Royal Guard, Pythona, Iron Grenadier Destro and Iron Grenadier Baroness, Darklon, Voltar and his Pet Vulture, Law and Order, Grand Slam, Flash, Muskrat, Airtight, Ripcord, Crazy Legs, 
wetsuit, and footloose. As we've covered extensively in the past, a lot of these figures will likely feature reuse from other figures. For the sake of today's episode, we're going to hold off on the retro card line for a future discussion. Instead, let's jump over to the theme line figures that are still on our list that we're waiting for. Mad Marauder's Mutton Junkyard and Mad Marauder's Footloose. Then over to Night Force. We're expecting more Night Force figures to join the Walmart exclusive line later this year and next, including Flint, Outback, Muskrat, Chuckles, and Falcon. Then over to the Tiger Force line. We're expecting the following figures to join the line sometime in this cycle. Tunnel Rat, Airtight, and possibly Alpine. Then for the HasLab. We've been saying it for months, we'll say it again. We expect this year's HasLab to end up being the Cobra Rattler with Wild Weasel. Hasbro could pivot at any moment and go with something else, but this is what fans want, and the overwhelming evidence so far suggests that the Rattler will be this year's HasLab. We'll have to wait and see. In terms of vehicles that we're waiting for, let's start with the G.I. Joe MMS. This is the Joe version of the HMS. And then we'll just rattle through the rest. The Cobra Stinger with the Grey Cobra Officer. The Dreadnought Thunder Machine with Thrasher. The Dreadnought Ground Assault with Heart Wrencher. The Snowcat with Frostbite. And the Triple T Tank with Sergeant Slaughter. We have good reason to believe that all of the vehicles we predicted are on the way. As new figures and vehicles are officially announced by Hasbro in the coming months, our list of spoilers and predictions looks more and more accurate. We'll continue to keep you updated. We don't want to waste your time with episodes just telling you which pre-orders might show up soon. No one really cares and that doesn't help anybody. So we want to give you information that keeps you informed and entertained. We put a lot of research into this show and the results speak for themselves. If you're new to our show, take a moment to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And be sure to smash that like button to show your support for the work we do. Next. Later this year, there will be a new vehicle released through fan channels and Hasbro Pulse. We can automatically rule out the Tiger Paw for this as that will be a Target exclusive down the road. We can also rule out the Night Force Covert Ops ATV, which is another redeco of the Cobra Ferret, as that will also be tied to Walmart if it does get released. And if so, this color scheme should be very popular. We are currently awaiting the announcement of the Cobra Stinger, and as mentioned at the top of this episode, we've had this on our pipeline list since last summer based on information directly from Hasbro. So you can take this one to the bank. Meanwhile, other possibilities include the snow cat with frostbite on our latest episode of the fans first talk show dex and i discussed the snow cat in great detail as well as how hasbro has recently been considering it for a future haslab and what tiers we want to see included that said it's entirely possible that the snow cat will still be released via hasbro pulse similar to the vamp but in this case it would include a lot less than what we had discussed for a haslab Another possibility of what this item could be is the G.I. Joe MMS. This is not yet confirmed by Hasbro, but we're basing this on information directly from Hasbro themselves, and we stand by this prediction. Another possibility is the Dreadnought Ground Assault with the driver Heart Wrencher. We maintain that Heart Wrencher will be tied to the Ground Assault, not released on her own as a standalone figure. The Ground Assault is of course a redeco of the Vamp. Time will tell if we're right about this, but I feel pretty confident that this is the case. In addition, the Dreadnought Thunder Machine with Thrasher. This is on the way as part of the 2024-25 cycle. And one other option that we're considering that this option might be, although we're expecting that this will probably hold over until 2025, is the Triple T Tank with Sergeant Slaughter. Now let's take a quick moment to discuss this. You might recall that back in June of 2022, we broke the news that Sergeant Slaughter had signed a multi-year deal with Hasbro, and that's significant to note, because his 2022 classified figure was not just a one-off. There will be more versions to come as part of his multi-year deal, and we've learned that there are plans for a new Sergeant Slaughter cross-brand figure between G.I. Joe and WWE. In 2021, Mattel released a WWE Ultimates Edition figure of the Sarge. It featured red, white, and blue stripes down the side of his black tights. He wore an olive green singlet over his torso with the letters of USA in red, white, and blue. And in this version, he wore black gloves with red wristbands. This is what we expect will be released as part of the Classified series. The new crossover figure should be a classified version of the figure from 1986, which back then was a mail-away item only. The first classified version featured a black top and camo-style pants, with black wristbands but no gloves. 
so this new Sarge will look similar, but definitely different. We also believe the Triple T tank will be announced for Classified in 2024, and the Mad Marauders line is not yet finished either. When we know more details, and when we have confirmation on which version will be included with a Triple T tank, we will let you know. Now let's turn this back to you. What are your thoughts on new Sergeant Slaughter figures joining Classified? Are you interested in new versions? Did you collect the first Classified version? Or did you intentionally skip that, and if so, why? The first Sarge for Classified was a repaint of the Heavy Artillery Roadblock mold. That said, it was still one of my personal favorite releases from 2022. So while it's a repaint, it's possibly one of the most iconic figures in the entire line, as Sergeant Slaughter was the face of G.I. Joe back in the 80s. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Next over to Road Pig. We told you this past fall that Road Pig was on the way. Hasbro recently confirmed this in March. Now this version of Road Pig will have a pet. Based on the size of larger existing figures like Roadblock, Gung Ho, Sergeant Slaughter, Serpentor, and now Nagahide, many are wondering how large Road Pig will actually be. In almost every depiction of Road Pig to date through G.I. Joe lore, Road Pig has been a humongous brute, larger than almost everyone else. We believe this will be the case with Road Pig. We also believe that Road Pig will fall into a higher price point category, largely due to his size, accessories, and his pet. What we know is true from Hasbro is that Road Pig will be large and very awesome, so we're expecting that it will meet most people's expectations, and we have good reason to say that. We believe that the classified Road Pig will look like the figure from the G.I. Joe role-playing game. As we've told you previously, almost every G.I. Joe character from the Renegade Studios games has appeared just like their G.I. Joe classified figure. We feel very confident that this right here is what Road Pig will look like for G.I. Joe classified. There's nothing modern here, this is the classic retro look for him. Take it with a grain of salt if you wish, but consider this your sneak peek of the G.I. Joe classified Road Pig. For the sake of comparison, the consensus of most is that the best custom figure of Road Pig made to date is the one created by custom designer Figurehead, who we've featured on our show many times. He sent this version to Dex and I to mark our first year anniversary of Viper Island. Included with Road Pig are a pickaxe sledgehammer, a dreadnought riot shield made of either scrap metal or part of a car door, a battle sword, a crowbar, a silver-bladed knife, a jagged edge dagger, a pistol with a scope, suppressor, and extended magazine, an SMG, a wrapped machine gun, and a Gatling gun. The machine gun and Gatling gun also attach to the front of Road Pig's motorcycle, and the riot shield attaches to the side of the chopper as well. This bad boy is very customizable, and to that point, he also includes four customizable and removable shoulder pad secondaries. He also has removable forearm spike pads, and a crossbow which attaches to his forearm. All holsters are made out of leather, not plastic. In short, this is the ultimate edition of Road Pig, and this has set the bar for Hasbro to follow. Hasbro will be competing with Figurehead's version when they attempt to outshine the immaculate work that he has done with this Road Pig custom. Now let's get this clear, we don't expect the Hasbro version of Road Pig to include anywhere near this many accessories. However, we want to hear from you. What accessories do you want Road Pig to include when he joins Classified? And as many of you have been pointing out recently, there's been a lot of overlap between what's said here on Viper Island and what eventually shows up in new Classified series releases and announcements. So if there's something that you want Hasbro to know, or if you have something in mind that you feel really passionate about, drop a comment and maybe Hasbro will give your idea some consideration. One thing we can all agree on is that the pressure is high for Hasbro to make a road pig that satisfies collectors and makes sense. The size, accessories, and overall look will determine how big of a success or a flop road pig is for the classified series. In terms of road pig's pet, if Hasbro wants to get cute, they might include the Queen of United Kingdom's pet corgi from the Deke episode, Season 2 Episode 2, Channel. I'd prefer that any pet included with Road Pig elevates and complements Road Pig even more. Otherwise, there's really no point in giving him a pet. So if Road Pig's pet does turn out to be a pet corgi, would you like that reference to the Deke cartoon series or not at all? And this discussion brings us to our question of the day. As always, we want your takes in the comments section. Today's Viper Island question of the day is, what should be Road Pig's pet? We love to hear from the community and check in with you, so whatever your thoughts are, sound off in the comments. My name is Liam. You can follow me on Instagram at Viper Island. For all things G.I. Joe, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you want to support the show, smash that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, have a great day, and yo Joe!